Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. So today we are doing a house that was inspired by an exhibition that I went to the other week at Japan House in good old London and they had the ex they've got the exhibition on called Windowography. So they obviously had to ha had models of houses and architecture and all that sort of stuff. So I was like, yes sims sims inspiration right there so i have taken a one of the the models that they had out which is one that tries to optimize the most amount of light into the house possible so i've tried to get it to face the midday sun but it's pretty hard on a lot like this so we are going to have loads of windows on the front side here and then we're going to have less around the back so it's supposed to allow in the maximum amount of sunlight during the day and obviously the moonlight as well during the night so the home is always lit and nice and bright and airy so we have a two-story home but it's going to be a little bit different because the upstairs is just going to be where we've got a more modern living space but we're going to go quite traditional in the main downstairs area and then we've got four bedrooms and two bathrooms off to the side one being a master bedroom with paper doors that go into it and then we're going to have we have some split levels down the bottom as well so we have the some traditional elements obviously using a lot of snowy escape to create this build because that is the pack for all, <laughs> all things Japanese in The Sims and we are in Mount Komorebi as well so we can have the full <laughs> the full experience and it was it's a pretty small exhibition there's like a room and a video section over on the other side but it's free so <laughs> we cannot complain because who doesn't love a free exhibition when you actually have the chance the only annoying thing is that it's on the west side of London which is annoying to get to especially when all the train operators like to do engineering works at the weekend and you're just like why why do you have to do them for two weeks running? It's so annoying. But anyway, it was it was fun. It was I got some ideas, some pictures and everything. So it's a good thing to get out and about. And we have our we're gonna have some landscaping around the house. So we're gonna do some sand gardens, we've got some water fountains out the front. I thought was quite nice to sort of frame the entrance of the house and I actually thought using this terrain paint from Cottage Living kind of looked like fallen cherry blossom between the paving so I was like that's kind of perfect <laughs> for a house like this so we are using that I think that's the first time I have ever used <laughs> this paving because it's a little bit odd and we're going to use a lot of sand and obviously using the, the sand garden rocks as well because that is always a thing. And I know we don't put bamboo trees in the sand gardens, but but we're going to because it's the Sims. <laughs> and then we're going to jump into our furnishing and we have the traditional matte floors for the bedrooms and the living spaces. And then we've got this tile for the kitchen and we have the the front but some of the front bits sunken which was going to have our traditional table and a few bits and pieces but we're going kind of modern for the living space upstairs and the kitchen I really hope you can use the stairs because <laughs> I really needed to tuck in a cabinet behind there and then the the bedroom the door bedroom which has the nice little pattern on it is a little bit odd having it in the kitchen area but it is the the only way to put it there 
So we have a bedroom off to that side. We have the single door to the bathroom and then another bedroom, which is all kids' bedrooms on that side of the house. And then we have the, the adult bedrooms on the other side. So we're going for, we're going for white in the kitchen, which I thought, because we've got the dark lines, the wooden lines on our paper, paper wallpaper. So I thought going for some lighter things in the actual furniture itself would make the it not look so dark. So we've got our traditional, well, as close as we can get to, to a traditional table in The Sims. And then we're going to put in some furniture. But it's going to be quite simple in here. I actually go back later on and put in one of the coffee tables with two cushions and a little tea set. So we have like... A little seating area there because obviously normally you would sit on the floor <laughs> and in the sims that doesn't quite work or translate so <laughs> having having some cushions so you can pretend pretend that we're doing it properly <laughs> and probably end up being told that we're culture appropriating even though it's <laughs> someone's actual tradition but any any who We've got a big fireplace downstairs and upstairs as well, so you can keep nice and toasty and warm. And upstairs is going to be our more modern part. We're going to have a computer up there and we've got the more modern seating. We don't have a TV up there, which is something you definitely add. And we're actually going to take the corner off the, the downstairs kitchen bit as well because it really cuts into the space we have so definitely need to actually give the give some actual more space to the area and changing changing up because I was like the white is really <laughs> not friendly upstairs so we're going for this grey and some dark woods up here which kind of works and makes it a little bit more cozy we've got the fluffy rug and we've got some kids poofs as well in the little characters and we're going to put some of the characters on the bedroom walls as well because I thought that would be quite cute to have the, the Pokemon type things and bits and pieces because it all ties in with the little cat. And we've got some, we've got another tea, <laughs> tea thing from paranormal stuff up here. And I thought it'd be quite nice to have a some kids' toys up here just because it's the main living space and you don't want to ruin the downstairs and this is this is when I decide I'm going to cut it out and then I realised that I'd cut it the wrong way and I was like oh dear oops so I was like I had to go back and do it again I hate working with platforms platforms are so annoying but actually cutting that corner off gives us so much more space and I actually put a corner piece on our kitchen and then put a table in there so we actually have a a proper well, a western table if we don't want to use the traditional thing and then we have some bits and pieces so we've got a mix of the two because I wanted to, it to function as a normal house as well as a, a Japanese traditional house so this is our master bedroom in the rooms are not that big but this one has its own ensuite and we're going for some darker colours in here with the white and then we've got the little chest of drawers from Snowy Escape and the bed and stuff. And then we're going to put some blinds up as well, which I actually scaled these ones up because I wanted them closed <laughs> in this room, but all the other rooms have them open and we have the just minimal amount of stuff in here, very zen very clean and calming in the bedroom especially the master bedroom and then we have a guest bedroom on the other side of the front of the house which is very similar to this and then we have our paper doors into the bedroom the bathroom area which I thought was quite fun and then we've obviously got our Japanese toilet which I forgot that they had <laughs> Japanese toilets in Japan house like how stupid <laughs> and they obviously had like the warm seats and everything and I was just like I'm not a fan of a warm toilet seat because <laughs> it feels like someone else has sat on it before you and it is not I don't find it very pleasant at all 
but everything else about a high tech toilet is is good <laughs> apart from the warm seat because ew we don't really <laughs> don't really want that and then on the on our other side we have the kids bedroom so i wanted to be really fun so this child is into the pink and they're into cats so we're gonna go with that they've also got the boy critter bits and pieces up here so i just wanted to be really fun and full of kids stuff because and they've got posters up in the bedroom as well because you can't really stop <laughs> stop a child putting posters up and bits and pieces so we have a science table in this bedroom with the tent and then we have a craft table in the other bedroom and we're going to use the little box step chest drawers in here because I thought they were they were quite fun and clean but still like child friendly as well and still on brand and we're going to have a nice big robot on the wall as well and our boy Chris is so just a fun kids bedroom they've got their like school flag up and their notes and bits and pieces and we actually changed the curtains in here because I was like they don't f <laughs> so we put blinds back up in here and this is our void critters so in this bedroom I thought this child was a little bit older so they've got a bunk bed and they've got some like older toys like the block making table and they've got the craft table as well which we're using the snowy escape one so it's got like the origami on there and the little fish so we're trying to fit in and we're going for like an orange theme in here because we've got the orangey pink bedspread and then we're obviously going to fill the room with toys and a desk and everything probably this child has the better view <laughs> out of the out of the window because it actually has some some landscape outside instead of just looking at a fence but there we go <laughs> and we've got their rucksack and books and toys and everything so it is it's a still a fun kids bedroom but not as fun as the other one they've got their gaming posters up and a few bits and pieces as well and we're going to put a bookshelf on the end of the bed because I was like we need to have some <laughs> some form of books and reading in here so I was like so we don't we got a bookshelf upstairs but that's kind of like a more adult one so there we go and then on our outside we've got a outdoor fireplace so we've got a little wood collector thing as well we're going to put some pot plants and we're going to put a bench and a picnic table as well out here I did debate about putting laundry out the back but I was like I haven't used laundry in this build and I don't want people to suffer so we've got a we're going to move that bench and actually put the table here so we can sit outside and then we're going to cover the the back wall with plants and everything so use the the snowy escape ones because they are the best <laughs> and then just loads of different pots because I thought this would kind of be a courtyard type area so I wanted it to be really enclosed and full of plants and try to get in a lot of greenery and then around the side where we've got the path around to the front we're going to have our more traditional kind of nature natural looking garden where we've got moss and we've got little temples and spirit bits and pieces and we've got our moss piles as well so we're just trying to gonna put some plants in between so it looks like it is full of full in the landscape and we've got our cherry blossom tree in the corner there and we have our other tree as well from snowy escape so it all blends in with everything around us as well so we've got our little fountain at the back here and we have our little shrine as well that's all mossy and i thought having some mossy bits and pieces just made it look as though they're like ancient but they come part of the house so it all blends and ties together i didn't want to put over plant everything so i was trying to pick things that fit and weren't too big and weren't too colorful either because it's lots of like moss areas and natural areas so i don't want to make it look too forced and got things growing over the path 
everything. So I think the the actual like rock path with the blossom, quote unquote blossom in between, works very nicely down the side. And that is our build. So we'll jump into our screenshots and we can get a look at the inside and the layout of the house. So it's on a 30 by 20 lot. So it's good. It takes up quite a lot of the lot. So if you wanted to put it on a bigger one and have a bigger garden, then I would not blame you. So let us jump in. So this is it from Sim Street level. <laughs> and here's our little... And when we come into the entrance and you can see the little table with the tea and our cushions. So we've got our traditional bit. We've got our kitchen and our bench as well that you can have more western. We've got our shoes by the door because obviously taking off your shoes is very important before entering the house. And then our more modern upstairs area and you can see downstairs as well, which is pretty cool. So there's all windows all the way up. And then we've got our master bedroom and our kids' bedroom, our first kids' bedroom. Many angles. <laughs> and our bathroom, so this is our main bathroom, which has a bath and a shower in it, because we need both <laughs> in a home. And then we have our other kids' bedroom, which has a gorgeous view of the, the path down to the house as well which is very cool and then our outdoors areas with a few different looks down i love this view with the little shrine just leading you down in this view as well so i hope you enjoyed this build if you did feel free to give it a like and hopefully i will see you in the next one bye Thank <laughs> you.